Welcome to The Rich Report, a podcast with news and information on high-performance computing. Today, my guest is from AMAX. We have Justin Kwan. Justin, welcome to the show today. Hey, Rich. How are you doing? Oh, really good. Really good. I'm glad you could join us. Um, Justin, I brought your slides up here. We're coming off of uh, SC11, so why don't we look at those and we'll follow it up with a Q&A. Yeah, sounds great. Sounds great. So, um, Rich, you know, there might be some of, uh, some people in our audience that may not be familiar with who AMAX is or what exactly we do. Uh, so I think what I'd first like to do is just give a brief introduction to our business. So uh, go on to the, uh, the first slide there. Uh, AMAX has been in business since 1979. Uh, we have over 30 years of experience in the industry. Our headquarters is based in uh, Fremont, California, uh, but we also have branches in Richardson, Texas, uh, Shanghai, and Suzhou, China. And we have... 350 employees worldwide. Um, AMAX's uh, primary uh, focus is delivering a, a wide range of innovative x86-based enterprise IT and HPC solutions to our customers. And uh, all of the systems that we built are, um, are built in our ISO 9001 certified and UL approved manufacturing facilities. So we moved on to the next slide. Um, as I mentioned, you know, we've, we've been in the industry for over three decades. And because of that, AMAX has been able to build solid partnerships with the best hardware and software technology companies from around the world. Um, partners such as AMD, Intel, Emulex, LSI, Mellanox, NVIDIA, and Platform Computing, uh, all of these companies provide our customers with a comprehensive portfolio of performance-driven HPC uh, solutions. Uh, moving to the next slide, you can uh, see some of the market segments that we cater to uh, are internet and cloud, industrial manufacturing, government and defense, uh, oil and gas, biosciences, uh, data centers, financial services, uh, as well as research and ed education. And because all of our systems are fully customizable, they can easily be tailored to any, virtually any vertical. And moving on to the next slide, uh, you can take a look and see, uh, you know, some of our customers include uh, various gover government departments, such as the Department of the Air Force, the Army, Navy, uh, Lockheed Martin, uh, various national research labs, such as Argonne National Laboratory, uh, Jefferson Laboratory, uh, as well as numerous universities such as uh, Berkeley, Harvard, Stanford, uh, Princeton, and uh, many, many more. Going to the next slide, you know, a lot of people probably wonder what exactly makes AMAX different when compared to our competitors in the industry. And there are four, um, a couple of focus points that I'd like to, uh, to focus on here. The first is open architecture and customization. Uh, AMAX believes in, in a true open architecture design philosophy. We're completely uh, platform agnostic. Uh, and we only implement the best components for optimal performance, compatibility, and flexibility. The second is power and thermal efficiency. All of our solutions utilize the latest high efficiency power supplies, processors, hard drives, SSDs, as well as memory uh, to help minimize the power consumption as well as the heat output. Third is our turnkey deployment. We design our solutions around your specific hardware requirements or a customer's uh, specific hardware requirements and software applications. So each of the systems that we, do, that we build, they're fully tested through our five-stage burn-in process. Uh, we're able to install custom software packages, and then we'll ship out um, a fully functional, ready-to-perform server, storage, or complete rack solution. Now this all ties into the last point, uh, which is uh, serviceability and management. Because we use an open architecture design, and we do extensive testing and offer global warranty services, uh, it, it enables AMAX to deliver the best possible serviceability and, and really helps to better reduce management complexity. Now moving to the next slide, uh, I'd like to highlight uh, AMAX's engineering expertise as the, the biggest reason, the real reason for going with AMAX. Now as I've mentioned, you know, AMAX has been in business for over 30 years in, in the industry. Uh, so, our in, so our engineers have extensive knowledge of uh, in-depth hardware configurations, various Windows and Linux operating systems, as well as other software and driver packages. Uh, you name it, uh, we know it. <laughs> um, our, our team provides application analysis wherein we'll conduct a thorough analysis of the customer's applications, uh, then we'll propose an optimized solution that meets those requirements. We also have a dedicated HPC engineering team that um, utilizes a top-down approach to cluster design from application, middleware, OS, node configuration, uh, as, as well as interconnects and storage. We also provide our customers with eval and test drive programs. What this does is it allows people to run their code um, for proof of concept before they actually purchase the machine. 
uh, our engineers will also thoroughly test the, uh, the completed cluster to ensure that performance is as expected, whether it's going to be storage performance, interconnect bandwidth, uh, PCIe latency, all of these test reports we can provide to the customers. And then finally, of course, uh, is going back to service and support. Uh, definitely, if a, if a problem should arise, uh, one of AMAX's engin engineers definitely have the expertise needed to work with the customer and, and really resolve the issue in a timely manner. And, then, and in, a, in, a, in an economy where you know, time is money, that's definitely very important. Now moving to the uh, next slide, um, this kind of leads us into the discussion about the various HPC platforms that we showcased at the Supergrid Meeting 2011 show. Uh, so the, uh, the first slide into this will be uh, uh, discussing uh, AMAX's FAT data, that's PHAT data, and that stands for Petascale Hadoop Analytics Technology. Now, Hadoop is a relatively uh, new means of parallel processing which is designed to manage and analyze enormous amounts of data, otherwise known as big data. And AMAX engineers have uh, designed this highly scalable, balanced Hadoop cluster uh, configuration, which is designed to deliver superior data analysis performance without any type of limitations. The great thing is that scientific applications can take advantage of Hadoop and its transparent data replication features, data locality, aware scheduling, uh, and fault tolerance capabilities, which is typically used in um, various applications like video and an image analysis, uh, log processing, as well as uh, data warehousing. So the AMAX FAT data, it's, it's basically a, a complete turnkey solution uh, for Apache Hadoop, and it offers a highly scalable, tunable, and easy-to-deploy platform um, built with the ability to solve these big data acquisition, storage, and analysis problems. But Rich, what I'd like to point out here is, is with AMAX, it's not just about the hardware here. Um, you know, big data solutions using Hadoop consist of an ensemble of tools which require very, very pre precise tuning and uh, and configuration for optimum efficiency and maximum performance. AMAX engineers understand this aspect in spades, and uh, our engineers like to work with uh, customers directly to help tune the cluster and application so that the guesswork is taken out of the equation. Going to the next slide, um, there, were, uh, there were two other forms of parallel computing that we displayed at the super, uh, supercomputing show this year, and they come in the form of NVIDIA GPUs as well as Intel mics, or short for many integrated cores. Now the HPC community is definitely aware of the massively parallel architecture and performance that NVIDIA's Tesla GPUs have brought to the supercomputer. Um, case in point, you know, we showed a brand new, not yet released uh, Intel Xeon E5 workstation, which is populated with four of the latest NVIDIA C2075 uh, GPUs. And those GPUs are capable of delivering up to 4.12 teraflops of performance. Now that's an incredible amount of performance in a single workstation. What the HPC community is just beginning to learn about, though, is Intel's new parallel computing technology, uh, dubbed their Intel MIC, uh, which, as I mentioned, is, stands for Mini Integrated Cores. In its current uh, iteration, uh, right now, MIC is a PCIe add-on coprocessor uh, with roughly 50 or more smaller, lower power cores. Now, why that, while that might seem paltry when compared to NVIDIA's 448 or 512 cores with their GPUs, these Intel cores are completely different in architecture and can't really be compared uh, directly to NVIDIA GPUs. And in fact, when you look at performance, Intel is targeting two or more teraflops of performance from a single microprocessor. And even better yet, users won't have to learn any type of new programming language uh, because the mic uti uh, utilizes the industry-accepted x86 programming model, uh, which is the exact same code base for Intel Xeon CPUs. So Intel is touting that uh, basically, with just a simple code change, you know, and you run it through their Intel compiler, that's all that's required to take immediate advantage of the mic architecture. I'm going to the next slide. Um, AMAX also showed uh, two next-generation processor technologies. Uh, one of them I, I just previously mentioned, uh, which is the Intel Xeon E5 family, uh, codenamed Intel Sandy Bridge. These CPUs are supposed to boast an average performance boost of roughly 1.57 times over the previous generation of Intel Xeon CPUs. Uh, they also come with Intel's next generation Turbo Boost technology. Uh, they enable uh, an advanced AVX instruction set for media encoding. And they also come with uh, up to eight cores, uh, which are available in uh, either single processor, dual processor, or quad processor designs. The second uh, next generation processor that we showcased at SC11 was uh, uh, comes from AMD's Optron 6200 series, uh, codenamed Interlagos, or uh, that's built on their bulldozer architecture. 
Now, these Interlago CPUs, the 6200s, uh, they're, they're the world's first 16-core x86 processors, and they're, they're providing up to 33% more cores and delivering up to 35% greater performance. The 6200 series also features uh, AMD's uh, newest uh, turbo core technology, which is capable of boosting the cores an additional 500 megahertz or up to 1 gigahertz with uh, half the cores active. So both of these CPUs and their respective platforms, uh, right now AMAX has integrated them into our latest workstations, servers, as well as cluster product lines. So going to the next slide, <coughs> AMAX also showcased a, a few of our petabyte scalable storage building blocks. Um, the, the first product is our multi-protocol SAN RAID array, and this is a, a unique hybrid SAN solution uh, with either dual port 8 gigabit uh, fiber channel or dual gigabit um, I'm sorry, dual port 16 gigabit iSCSI support. So it supports either uh, fiber channel or iSCSI. And the, uh, the server is configurable with either 12 uh, three and a half inch or 24 two and a half inch SAS, SATA, or SSD drives. Uh, and they're all, they're all supported in pretty much any RAID configuration imaginable. Uh, so you're looking at RAID 0, 1, 3, 5, 6, 10, and 50. And since data protection is, is always a hot topic these days, um, this solution also supports uh, dual controllers, redundant fans, as well as redundant power supplies. The second uh, petabyte scalable storage building block that AMAX showed was the, uh, our 4U 36 drive bay uh, dual processor storage server, uh, which is able to hold up to 108, terabout, uh, I'm sorry, 108 terabytes in a single 4U space. And uh, it's suitable for scale up, scale out, or standalone use. And moving on to the next slide, uh, lastly is our compact personal cluster, uh, which we call the Cluster Max Mobile. Emax's Cluster Max Mobile uh, HPC uh, cluster was designed and engineered as a true space-saving, uh, versatile personal cluster architecture uh, that was designed to address today's needs for high-performance, high-density mobile clustering. And what this does is it enables smaller work groups to handle larger and more complex workloads outside of the data center where there might be limited IT support. Uh, so the, the Cluster Max Mobile is, is really ideal for work groups or small sites running HPC applications and CAE, computer-aided uh, engineering, oil and gas, financial services, uh, life and material sciences. And the great thing about it is it requires no special power or cooling. So what this does is you know, it, it basically enables the mobile user to really uh, improve productivity, reduce the design and development uh, cycles, uh, speed computation, and just overall improve efficiency. And I guess that's, that's uh, for the most part, that's the end of, uh, uh, end of what I'd like to talk about here. I guess the key takeaway here is that, you know, AMAC specializes in workstations, clusters, servers, storage solutions, uh, pretty much you name it, we build it for data centers and HPC. Uh, AMAC is a dynamic engineering company with a strong manufacturing background, uh, leveraging deep partnerships with major industry players, uh, and it allows us to work really closely with our customers to design not only optimal solutions based on their needs, uh, but also to build and deploy the highest quality system globally. We also have a professional services team of engineers uh, that offer services from on-site installation of any size cl uh, cluster to rack integration and uh, application-specific hardware tuning, such as Hadoop. And uh, all of AMAX's solutions are deployed globally, uh, including Fortune 500 companies, national labs, and top research universities. So I, I think that's about what I have, Rich. Okay. Okay. Well, Justin, thank you for that. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm curious about your, your business. I don't know how much you share about the financials, but it sounds like you're primarily focused in the HPC space. But as you guys de develop this uh, Hadoop uh, system, this is, uh, is that your move to get more business in the enterprise? Uh, yeah, Rich. So uh, let me, I'll explain a little bit more about Amax's business model. We actually have three different divisions to our business, uh, one of them being HPC, uh, the other is Enterprise IT Solutions, and lastly is our OEM, uh, OEM business, our world we'll manufacturer for you know, top security networking companies, uh, ISVs, and, and build and brand their appliance, drop ship them globally to their customers. Uh, so it, HPC and Enterprise are just a, a drop in the bucket, um, a part, of our, a part of our business model. Definitely, HPC um, and Hadoop is a, is a specific um, solution that we designed which kind of bridges the, the, the gap between HPC and enterprise. It's kind of, um, I would say, I would put it as using HPC in the enterprise environment. Yeah, yeah. 
And, and um, so you call that the, the fat data system. Um, you know, when, when, when you architected that, I mean, I, I, I'm glad you brought up that it's an ensemble that needs to be configured, right? You don't just download Hadoop and, and throw it up like, a, um, like, a, like Beowulf or something and start computing, right? It's a, it's a very, at least it's been described to me as a very labor intensive kind of process. How, how does uh, AMAX help with that? Very good question, Rich. So, as you mentioned, you know, uh, you know, Amax. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Hadoop is definitely a consisting of an ensemble of tools. It's not just you know a simple download, uh, you know, plug in, install. It's not as simple as that. Hadoop requires it's something that requires constant tuning. Uh, and Amax's engineers uh, we're we're experts uh, in uh, in the Hadoop space, and and we've partnered with um, uh, with uh, people such as Cloudera and other industry experts. Uh, who are very well versed in this type of new technology, and Amax engineers are basically standing by to you know help answer any questions regarding uh, Hadoop tuning. Uh, we also have a, a dedicated Hadoop engineering team uh, who will help customers directly uh, tune their application uh, and and get the best performance, extract the best performance out of their Hadoop installation. So Justin, you know we're coming off of SC11, and I wonder if you could characterize, you know, what are the conversations like that you're having with with customers who haven't heard about you before? What, you know, what are what what are they saying? <laughs> so definitely, I mean that that's also a great question. Um, you know, at SC11, coming off of SC11, you know, we had a lot of uh, great reception there at the at our booth. Um, we had a lot of customers who had never heard of Amax before. And I think you know part of the reason for that is definitely because uh, our our background comes from OEM manufacturing, uh, where you know as I've mentioned you know we'll design, build, and deploy systems for a lot of um, um, ISVs in the market, and so people aren't really aware of of the Amax name, and I think that's really what we're trying to do you know going to um, uh, trade shows such as you know SC11 is really to to get the Amax name out there. Um, we received a lot of you know great reception from a lot of um, press. Uh, as well as uh, you know, individual showgoers at, at the SC11 show, and I think Amax's focus in the future is definitely going to be very heavy in, in HPC, uh, developing new and exciting uh, technologies, and and just really um, uh, trying to uh, redefine the HPC market. Well, terrific. So, kind of a wrap-up question here, Justin. We, we've come off SC11, the big HPC show. What's uh, coming around the corner for Amax? <laughs> You're gonna have to wait and see, Rich. But I can definitely tell you. Yeah. I can definitely tell you, though. Know, Amax has some very, very exciting uh, new solutions that we're gonna be announcing uh, probably in Q1 of next year. Uh, so definitely stay tuned, and and um, and you'll get you'll find out very shortly. Okay, that's a deal. Well, Justin, thanks a lot for uh, joining us on the show today. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Okay. All right, folks, that's it for the Rich Report. Stay tuned for more news and information on high-performance computing.